our search for a good Debian distribution brought us to this distribution. It is called Xlite. And as you can see, it is a unique uh, distribution because it is relying not only on Debian SID, but it also has the Enlightenment desktop. Not many are bold enough to use this uh, Enlightenment desktop, Enlightenment desktop environment. But uh, it seems uh, X Lite, they like the environment and they like Enlightenment and they are uh, showing off all the good features and the good things that Enlightenment has. So looking first, uh, if we want to look at uh, some uh, of the website. So the website is a very simple website. It talks about this uh, distribution and it says it is with Enlightenment 0.25.3. The latest one is 0.25.4, but it seems they have also the, the all the features that are present. They are using Refracta Snapshot. We will talk about it and uh, Debian SID. They are using Debian SID and also a very modern installer, which is the Calamaris installer, which is a nice addition, bearing in mind that Debian uh, installer is outdated. And there's also, they are talking about this very nice Enlightenment theme, E25 Neon Z, which is, I believe, uh, the best uh, theme ever. Uh, just to give you a glimpse, uh, this uh, 0.25.3 were the first to introduce flat theme icons, flat themes. It is not a good theme. That's why they uh, they replaced it because the default is the flat theme. Replace it with this uh, Eon, uh, Neon Z. Just to give you a hint of all the Debian distributions that also are on the same league or maybe they are higher league than this one. MX Linux, everyone knows about it. And uh, MX Linux has also some, uh, if you want to increase your kernel to the latest one, you have the ability, but I think it comes with 5.15 as the kernel. For uh, There's also Sparky Linux. Sparky Linux is also a very old uh, Debian uh, distribution, which has many features. Also, uh, sometimes it has the latest kernel, uh, as you can see here, it has the Linux kernel 5.19.11, and there is also 6.0 for this uh, Sparky Linux. It's really impressive what these guys are uh, doing. The other thing that came also uh, new to the Debian market or the Debian distribution is Spiral Linux. We spoke about it in an earlier video. It is very modern. It has ButterFS as a file system. It has a Calamaris installer, installer and also I believe also it has Debian SID, Debian testing or unstable. You can use it also if uh, you want and a bunch of other things that are included. So without uh, further ado, let us see what this, uh, this X slide brings us. So first off, if you notice, uh, there is the Calamaris installer. It's a very uh, straightforward one. You put uh, your all the things that you want. Let's say you want to erase disk. You create, let's say, uh, EXL. Put a simple password just to give you a glimpse of what is happening. And also he tells me that all is uh, included and he is using ext4 it seems only ext4 is available and you click the install and you install it it's a very straightforward way to install uh, this system so uh, make it very easy for you to install so looking at the enlightenment desktop if you notice it's a very beautiful theme if we go let me first uh, increase the increase the Scaling, I'll make it 1.2 for your. So these are the settings that you have. If you will look at the favorite applications, they have Firefox, they have PC Man FM. This is on the favorite section. If we want to look at the applications, these are the applications. Uh, they include the Gparted, LX Terminal, and PC Man FM. If you know, if you know that Enlightenment does uh, comes with a file manager, it is the Enlightenment file manager. But uh, it's a basic one. That's why they included P they included PC Man FM. 
there's also the refractor installer and for the refractor snapshot we'll talk about them also in a minute uh, for the sound there is the mpv there's the alsa mixer for the internet i told you there is firefox and for the graphics they included gimp i don't know why they included gimp they could have included also library office if they want but they liked gimp and there's also the sc screen grab and there's also the famous uh, leaf pad these are basically what are included if you remember we can customize all this shelf or panel we can customize it like we want let's say i want to remove this one i can remove it as i told you in the previous video uh, the thing that we will cover is the refractor snapshot what is the refractor snapshot it is like here the refractor snapshot is you install everything on the system and you would you want to make an iso for your installation so you will have your own distribution if you want i covered the refractor snapshot in when i spoke about dev1 which because it comes with dev1 and also how we can use it in linux mint i will also put the links for the videos that we covered but uh, as a summary what we can do is you open your, your refractor snapshot before you do anything you update your system you install your customized uh, settings you make uh, all the things that you you want in your iso all the application etc etc and the final thing what you will do is before you press this one you can go to five here first and you press ok this is the first one it is a basic one yeah, for the for debian there's no problem you don't need to change it for this one you you need to change it so you press ok of course you have to be on uh, in sudo so that you can change uh, this file and here all the files that are excluded so if you want to exclude all the files they are straightforward but here if you notice they did not exclude wine so if you have let's say big programs inside wine so you'd better to comment uh, and not comment this one because here it included everything in wine all the things that you installed let's say you installed wine and you installed a very simple exe file no problem you can include it with the iso but if you have installed wine with a big program it's better to uncomment this one and there's other things uh, which you can also if you have big data in the downloads also you have to uncomment this one or music etc etc so this this is the file that you need to change if you want to make any changes or you to include in your iso but these are the ones that uh, are always present and they remove you don't want to let's say you don't want to uh, get the dot cache in your ISO or the others one one last thing concerning concerning the the first one which we talked about the first one is just to give you a hint what is happening so what what will be what will be happening when you uh, when you start uh, this this refractor snapshot it will make a snapshot directory you need to check the snapshot directory here because i am in the live version there is mntsda2 but uh, for the others it will be home directory slash snapshot so it will create a directory called snapshot and it also it will create a directory called work if you don't like it you can put it in another thing that you like so that's basically it and of course there is the synaptic package manager also if you notice there is there is uh, the settings you can change all the settings uh, of course for the enlightenment the, it comes default by enlightenment and also the one that i like is the run everything which is a very neat uh, application which is also a replacement for rofi and all its plugins let's say i want to use the calculator let's say i will put equal three plus three so in general they come with this favorite uh, application all the favorite application which is let's say if i right click you will get this favorite application it is very easy to include an application inside here it's very simple if you press the left click you go to uh, settings setting panel and you go to the application favorite application and let's say you want uh, gparted you put add you put apply okay close close and 
you right click so now you have gported so it's uh, it's a good that, that they have included enlightenment enlightenment is not present mainly in debian or in ubuntu ubuntu especially you don't find uh, enlightenment especially the latest version but uh, it's good that they included it so so if some people like to use uh, this uh, desktop environment and they don't uh, know uh, where to install it or to uh, to have it of course you will have x lite it will be included by default that's it for now i hope you enjoyed the, this uh, distribution as i did because uh, it is unique in a way that it includes the things that most users don't like don't want to install they want to install something that is easy but if you notice this enlightenment if you get used to it you'll get more productive in, in less time thank you